This latest round of storms came as people continued cleaning up from yesterday's storms. Rockcastle County is one of several spots where high winds knocked down trees and power lines. WKYT's Victor Puente shows us the damage. Cleanup continues here in Rockcastle County. Trees like the ones behind me couldn't stand up to the heavy winds that blew through here yesterday. It wasn't just trees that came down. The sign outside of this hardware store was also taken down by those winds. You can see where it snapped the thick wooden pole holding it up. Broadhead's emergency management director told me it started around 2 in the afternoon. They didn't hear any thunder or see any lightning. They just had that wind blowing heavily. He says crews were able to clean up the trees off of any roads by the end of the night, although there are still some on the ground around the city. They did have some warning because they were watching this weather system as it moved through neighboring counties. And we knew it was hitting down there pretty hard. We got communications with them. And so we, we were pretty well ready for it when it hit. We couldn't keep it from hitting, but after it hit, we were ready to, to respond to it. Rockcastle County's emergency management told me they had road crews out today cleaning up trees that had fallen near roads in the Brindle Ridge area. But he said any trees that had fallen directly onto those roads had already been cleaned up. In Rockcastle County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Trees on power lines caused some power outages in Rockcastle County, but those lines have since been repaired.